There are times where pages or folders are not directly linked from a web application. For example, often I've seen that admin folder or login pages are not referenced anywhere on the site. This is usually because host administrators are trying to hide these folders and administrative login pages from general users. These are the exact types of things you are looking for in a test so that you can try to bypass or brute force the authentication process. There is a specific module within Burp that is extremely helpful in these scenarios, which is Discover Content. Let's open the browser and enter the IP address of the Metasploitable virtual machine. At this moment, the Burb suite is intercepting my requests, so I should stop it. Now click on the Mutiliday hyperlink. Mutiliday, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, is a vulnerable web hacking application composed of PHP scripts that are vulnerable to the top 10 vulnerabilities of OWASP. Let's start a fresh attack on the site. Just by visiting the web page of Mutiliday, Burp Suite should already recognize the existence of it. Now going back to Burp Suite, click on the Target tab, pick your domain, right click and add it to the scope. After this, we need to spider the application. But before doing it, I need to share with you a quick tip. Because Mutiliday website has a lot of forms, when you spider the application, the Burp Suite will pop up a dialog asking you to enter the credentials manually. To change this default behavior, click on the Spider tab, then select the Options tab. As you can see by default, the prompt for guidance is selected. So let's change it to the last option. Why? Because I will use a smart SQL injection string instead. In the username field, type admin followed by a single code space or space one equal to one space dash dash and leave the password field as blank. If you don't know what SQL injection is, don't worry. We have plenty of videos at Pluralsight that talks about the subject. Please check them out. Now let's go back to the target tab and start spidering the application. Quickly switch to the spider tab to see the progress of the spidering. When these numbers stop, from going up, it means that it has finished the execution process. Once the spidering process is complete, go back to the sitemap tab, right click on the Mutually Day folder, from the drop down select Engagement Tools, then click on Discover Content. Once inside the Discovery module, you can click on the Session is Not Running button and the application will start the smart brute forcing. At this moment, the brute force attack is learning from files and folders it finds within the application and tries to make better choices for brute forcing. This technique provides an efficient process to identify folders and files of your application testing. You can click on the site map tab at the top of the discovery module and see all the results from the brute force scan. This will help quickly identify hidden folders, admin pages, configuration pages, and other interesting pages that will prove useful to a tester. 